Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show how do you design a web page in UiPath apps. So if you see, this is a simple web page. And if I click on the tab computer, what happens is the content has been changed on the web page. Now, if I'm going to click on employees tab, it's again changing. So how this kind of a button you can design where your contents will change. I have kept an image you can keep any kind of a content inside that okay maybe a table maybe any other thing so how to design this the technique is important right that is what we are going to learn the technique of designing this kind of buttons so for this let's go to UiPath app studio and here I'm going to click on build a new app I'm going to type a name uh, let me type my first web page let's say and I'm going to click on create okay I'll select the blank page and I'm clicking on select all right so this is how it will appear for you now the very first thing what I will do I'm going to click on add control I'm going to click on containers and I'm going to drag and drop this container layout and I'm going to select this container and keep it like this for a header okay I'll write something here I'm going to click on add control once again go to display and I'm going to drag and drop the header simple now in the header I'm going to write my web page okay done I'll go to the style and then I'm going to you know expand this keep the text at the center I'm going to change the background color to some, anything okay I'm going to change the text color to white let's say fine so this much is done after that I'm going to add a page container okay so I'll click on add control once again I'll minimize this go to containers and here there is something called page container so let me drag and drop this page container done now once the page container is done under this I am going to add two pages okay I am going to add a first blank page you can see and I am going to name this as employees page and then I am going to add one more page here select the blank and hit on select and this one I am going to name it as computers page okay just for demonstration you can put anything you want okay now this two pages has been added now what I'm going to do I'll go to the main page okay and here we have got the container and I have written my web page and there's a page container here now anybody who opens the page I want if I click on preview so this is how it will appear so time to time do it in preview and see how it is appearing so that you understand as you are building up the a web page how it is going to appear okay so this is how it is appearing I'm going to make a change here okay I'm going to make a change here in the page container I'll go to the general tab and click on this page and I'm going to select employee page so what would happen in this M this in this one the employee page has been tagged okay the page container employee pages has been tagged I'll go to the employees page click on add control and I'm going to go to a display and let me drag and drop the image control okay this is the image control this image control here there is a property called image binding under generals I'll click on this and I'm going to click on this plus sign this will open up this page I'm going to select a already downloaded uh, enough image on my computer I'm going to click on open so what would happen the image has been now uploaded to UiPath app studio okay I'm going to click on this okay the moment you click on this this has to come here that means this employee page has got an image here now if you go to the main page if you remember in the page container I have tagged here employees page so in the page container what is coming employee page is coming if I'm going to click on preview 
so you can see the employer page has come however this is quite simple I wanted to add few buttons into it so that I can switch between the employee page and the computer page so before we do so I'll go to the computer page and I'm going to do the same thing adding an image controller and while it is highlighted I'm going to click on image binding and I'm going to select one more image of the computers okay so here is a computer image I'm going to click on this And I'm going to click on that one so you can see copy of bat so this one has come all right this image has come now let me go to the main page so what is happening in the main page because the page container is linked with employee page only this employee photo is coming but computer page is not appearing anywhere okay in the main page it's not appearing if I do a preview also You can see only this one is coming but the computer page is not coming so how do I get a button created so that I can switch between these two pages okay for that I'll click on add control I'm going to go to container layout or container I'll go I'll use a container here so what is the difference between both of them container and container layout if you see the container I don't see option to resize it but if I put a container layout it will allow me to resize it okay so here I have used a container once I have this container inside this let me add two buttons I'll go to input and I'm going to add a button one here and I'm going to add one more button okay two buttons has been added let me highlight the container go to the style and make it horizontal so it will appear like this now for the first button I will name it as employee employees and then for the second button I am going to name it as computers done now you have only created buttons but they have been not been linked anywhere right so first I let me select employees okay I am going to click on event and here I am going to click on create rule and here I need to select open a page and it will ask me what a page I mean what page to open right so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to select employee page so anybody who clicks on the button then the event will trigger and it is going to open the page employees page and then it is asking where to open this so it should open in the page container it's a container right we have added initially so it should open in the page container and then close it done the same thing I will do for the computers button go to select the computers button event create rule open a page and then select this and select computer page so computer page will come and where it should come it should come in the page container so I'll click on this okay done close it now look at the preview so what would happen now so the page has opened so in the home page this employees image is coming now if I'm going to click on computers what would happen this button is going to open the page computers page so in the designing we have done right computers page there are two pages computer page and the employee page so when I'm clicking on the button now computer page has come if I go back and click on the employees button again the employee button you know has come so this is a technique that you have learned in this video I hope you can utilize it in many different manners to design a web page or a designer app so thank you guys for watching this we are going to come up with more such interesting techniques that you can use to enhance your knowledge on UiPath Apps Studio. Thank you.